Today is the sixth anniversary of the 7th of July suicide bomb attacks on London, which left 52 people dead. Forces News has been speaking to one of the military's bomb disposal experts at the time, a soldier who was seconded to advise the Cabinet's Crisis Response Committee, COBRA. Now retired, Major Chris Hunter has been sharing his memories with Julie Knox. I think it's a day of reflection today, and I certainly remember at the end of the day, having had a, a really, really busy, difficult, frustrating and desperate day, walking back home along the embankment to, uh, to Putney, where I lived at the time. And there was this sort of really unusual sense of, I guess, solidarity. I'd never seen so many Londoners actually acknowledge one another, you know, smile at each other. And I'd certainly never heard as many people on their mobile phones saying, I love you. And it was just a very, very unusual um, environment, I suppose, and a very unusual experience. So what was your role on the day? I was... Um, responsible for looking after a team of intelligence officers um, in the Ministry of Defence and our remit was to look at sort of worldwide improvised explosive device used by terrorists. Did you ever really expect it? I personally believed that it was going to, uh, to happen here. I didn't know when, um, obviously, and I didn't know where, but because we'd looked at the patterns around the rest of the world, we'd seen the sort of advantages to the terrorist um, when suicide attacks occur. In, in, in terms of, if you like, the publicity they get, the support they get, the, the fact that it's effectively, you know, the poor, poor man's weapons of mass destruction. And therefore, I'd sort of predicted that we were going to be hit at some point. And when, I guess, the follow-on from that was that we were tasked to devise the procedures and train the police firearms teams in how to deal with a suicide bomber. I remember there were a few sort of heretics who, who sort of said, you know, you're just wasting taxpayers' money. And of course, our response was it wasn't raining when Noah built the ark, you know. So we, uh, we basically just cracked on. But we certainly weren't expecting it when it happened. Do you think we're safe from it happening again? We can't completely relax. We can never rest on our laurels because you'll remember the, uh, the Brighton bombing when the, uh, the British government were attacked there. And Patrick McGee, the IRA bomber, once notoriously said, we only have to be lucky once, you have to be lucky always. And of course, all it takes is one lucky terror attack to slip through the, uh, the net. And of course, the, uh, the effects of that can be devastating.